everyone, Jeannie here with Belly Beads, here today to show you how to roll my 8mm round paper strips. This code link is 75342, and what this means is if you purchased a pack of my strips, this link is connected to how to roll the 8mm rounds. I thought it would be nice for the beginner, instead of reading instructions or um, trying to find out how to roll these paper strips, I thought I'd give you a live uh, tutorial which would be really nice. So when you purchase these and you can find these on my um, my website which is bellybeads.com, I'll put everything in the links below. Uh, I also part of my paper beads uh, group I have on Facebook so I invite you to join there. I'll put everything in the links below as I mentioned. So let's get started. All of my strips are completely packaged with this nice plastic bag. They remain straight. Um, I thought this is nice instead of rolling them up so when you receive them they're all nice and straight. So let's begin. I'm just going to um, take these out and when you open them up I highly suggest that you place them all together and this 8mm round, I'm going to give you a little bit more information on this 8mm round. There's two strips to it. I will also give you the measurements and they'll be in the links below. Um, when you receive them, I would just put them together, put all the... So there's only two strips here, so it's, it's this size and it's the triangle one. These are all precisely cut. I have a Cricut machine and these are all cut by a machine, which is really nice. So I'll put I'll lay these aside, but um, just so you understand, I personally would just get them all out and line them all up so when you roll them, it'll be much easier. So the first strip here, oops, I have a two of them there, I would condition it. One thing I wanna mention is, before you even start rolling, Make sure you moisturize your hands really well. It's really important. I found my hands to be very dry and cracked after rolling paper because the paper absorbs the oils through your skin. So if you have a nice, you know, moisturizing cream, definitely put that on your hands first. I'm using a paper bead roller. This is by Paper Bead Crafts, Julie Bullock, and it's a 532nd um, pin it's called that's the size of it and a quarter inch of a diameter you can use any kind of pin but this one in particular that's the size so if you have a paper bead ruler with that size that's great condition your paper i'm also using a uh, clear glue elmers i love these little containers i know a lot of you have mentioned that the glue gets stuck but i have to say something there comes <laughs> with this comes a nice little rubbery tip if you keep the tip on top of it all times when you're not using it, I promise you it will not get um, it will not get stuck the glue. I also sell these. These are three for a dollar in my um, on my website, and it you it, it comes with with glue, so that's a nice little uh, added feature. So I'm going to take this off now. A lot of you may say this is going to get in my way. You can definitely remove that, and let's get started with our paper bead. You want to condition it, meaning rub your fingers through the paper, which allows it to get a little softer. As you see, it's starting to bow a little bit, which is nice. You don't want to keep it straight. This will all allow the ridges, when you roll them, to blend together. Get your paper bead roller. There's a little slot in there, as you can see. You want to place your paper in between the slot, and then roll. When you're rolling, be mindful of the edges of the paper. You want to roll at a decent pace, but not too fast and not too slow. But you also want to be mindful, as I mentioned, the sides here. If you can see this, the sides, they really should be very centered. That will allow for a very round bead. When you come to the end, you're going to place a little bit of glue on the edge. Now this is my first strip. If it was my my only strip, I would get the glue and place it on entirely on the um, outside of the bead. <clears throat> It'll allow for a little bit more secure and um, ready for dipping. I dip all my beads uh, for glazing. Get the second strip, 
place some glue. I'm pretty generous with the glue, as you could see on here. Now you want to line up. You want to line up the um, the second strip to the first strip. And there you go. You want to roll that very nicely. As I mentioned, nice and slow is is a good piece. And while you're coming, while you're approaching the end, make sure, as you could see here, trying to get in the camera there. I'm I'm taking it very easy because I want the strip to be part of the middle of it, right there, to keep it straight. Flip it over. Place a little glue there. Now this is where I do put a little bit more. As you can see, I'm very generous with that because I like to rub the um, the glue through my fingers the entire, see how I have it on the entire, um, the whole bead. This allows it to keep it secure and then you can either, however you glaze your beads, it'll be ready for it. I think it really does do a great job. And there you go. There is your eight millimeter, your bead. Okay, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and um, I'm here for any questions and comments that you may have. Thank you. Bye.